Hey guys, this is Hung Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. As many of you requested, you guys love all those 90s makeup video that I did recently and requested for another video with the 90s look on deeper skin tone. Here you go. We have the beautiful Donna here with me. She actually from my hometown in Alberta and I was quite excited. This is first time for her in New York and I can't wait for you guys to watch the video. I hope you like it. Give us a lot of love. Give us a thumb up. Don't forget to follow both of us on Instagram as well. Thank you. We already do some skin prep off camera. The foundation I'm gonna use is the new NARS Stop Matte Foundation. Since you use more matte finish foundation, I always like to prep the skin with a lot of moisturizer so the skin doesn't look so dry even you use the matte finish. The shades I'm using on Donna today is called Macau. I'm going to apply with a sponge. If you like to use the brush, the finger, it's all up to you. What I'm doing right now, as you can see, I just press and pat. That way you get more coverage. I keep using the sponge, just pressing the foundation on the skin. This way you get so much coverage and you can get more coverage if you like to. This foundation can give you that. But I still want the skin to feel like skin. So I don't want to put in too much. For concealer, I'm using two shades from NARS. It's the Radiant Creamy Concealer. One is Camo. I use it under the eye, on the bridge of the nose, a little bit in the forehead. And the other one is Armand. I use around the nose, around the mouth here, and to cover any imperfections. With the lighter shade, I know it's a lot lighter, but I just want to do a little bit of the reverse contour and highlight, just from concealer. And on the bridge of the nose. And then use blending brush to blend it out. Then you use the same foundation on you earlier, blend everything up. For the darker concealer, I'm using mainly around the mouth. And around the nose. and blend it up. I'm using a small brush in pinpoint to cover any little pigmentation or anything that you would like to cover with the darker concealer. Not the light one. The light one I use mainly under the eye. And I think it's better to use color that close to the foundation so it's blending better for you. After you use the small brush for that, I use the sponge. I just press everything like that together. Again, it's going to help you blend everything together. Next, I'm using Tantor from Huda Beauty to give a little shading. A little bit, the nose. cheekbone here and around the jawline 
and use a puffing brush to blend everything out. I like this brush because you can use both sides. Make sure everything blend. Even I do contour, I still like everything blend. For powder, I'm using two different shades from Huda Beauty. One is the lighter shade under the eye. And all the area that I put the lighter concealer earlier. You don't have to use two different shade of powder if you don't want to. It's my preference. You don't have to do exactly the same way I do. In the darker shade, you just powder everywhere else. I am going to use the lighter shade of the powder, just baking a little bit under the eye. You don't have to do too much. Just a little bit. A little bit on the chin as well. For eyebrow, I'm going to use the combination between brow powder and a brow width. I'm using this shade on the chocolate part just with the eyeshadow brush and I brush backward like this against the hair growth. And I'm trying to make the eyebrow a little bit arched. I think it's nice and makes the end of the nighty look. Doing the same on this side. Use the second shade, same brush, and I'm doing the little arch and make them really arch up here and do a tiny sliding down. Using the brow width, you can draw individual hair and keep more depth into the eyebrow. And even I do really arch eyebrow, I still like the idea of the eyebrow look really soft, not too harsh looking. And that is the brow I like for this look. You can do stencil brow, you can do heavier brow, lighter brow, it's up to you. I thought this looked great for the look I'm doing. Then I'm gonna finish on the other side. So that's the eyebrow. I know in the 90s, they love more skinnier brow, but even though I'm doing the 90s inspiration, I still want my full eyebrow idea in there. So I still have my own aesthetic in the look. <laughs> to prime the eye for the makeup, I'm using the palette from Makeup by Mario. Close your eye. I'm just priming the product all over the lid.
also a little bit on the lower lash line and then use the bigger floppy brush on this side you can step them those guys Then I'm um, use some clear brow gel to keep the eyebrow in place. For the eye, the palette I'm gonna use is from Lorette. These are the shades I'm going to use. I'm thinking I'm going to use. I might change my mind, but that's what I'm planning for. The color I'm keeping more neutral, so it's not too warm not too cool and we can use just a black pencil from Papagrat. To start, I'm doing a thick line across the lid with the pencil and I blend it out. I also gonna use the same pencil. I'm gonna do upper waterline as well. Now look straight. Next, I'm using this shape right here on the crease area. And I'm using just an eyeshadow brush. And I blend it out. And I'm going to use the same shadow, just a little more in the corner of the eyes here. If someone have really close set eyes, maybe you can skip that part. But for Donna, her eyelid is amazing for makeup. So that's why I put a little more right there. Do the same on this eye. Look up for me. Using the same brush, same color, you can do a little bit on the lower lash line. Next go with the black shadow just set where I put earlier with the black liner and smudgy and blend it out I also use the shadow create a little more depth on the outer part of the crease here using the same brush Take off some of the black and then use like a dark gray color here. I'm just blending the outer part of the eye. And I also gonna blend into the crease that I created earlier. The whole point of doing this is I wanna do the gradation from light to dark. I thought maybe the darker shade like this won't look too black. Same on the other side. I'm also going to go a little further in the inner part. using the lighter shades here now i'm blending all the edges out i'm using the same eyeshadow brush earlier look up for me 
do the same on the lower. I did have some fallout. I'm going to clean them after. I'm not worry too much for now. Next, I'm using the lighter shades here, just on the brown bone and the uh, inner crease here. And it's okay that you have some fall off because you have some baking product already. When you dust it off, everything gonna be gone. And then you can do a little bit right here as well. Using the smudgy brush earlier, you just dust up some the color and blend it out. I finished both sides and use this color here. Again, just blending the edge it up. Now you can dust off all the baking powder that you used earlier. And then you can clean up. That's the eye. I'm gonna put some mascara and I might put some lashes. Curl the lashes. And then I'm using mascara from Marc Jacob Beauty. A little bit on the lower lashes as well, but I don't want to put too much on the lower lashes. Just mainly on the top and then we can add some lashes. To finish the mascara, I'm going to put some lashes off camera and I'll be right back. I apply the lashes off camera. I'm using the kiss lashes, so I think it's go from short to long. And that's the lash I use. I have to look at the eye. I love it, but I'm going to do a little bit look at eyeliner. Just very little along the lash line. That way I can cover the glue as well. Just very fine. Not really to do the liquid liner. You give more depth on the lash line. For contour, I'm using this palette from Jue. I'm using mostly the shades here around the nose. Very subtle. I already did that earlier with the cream. Now just basically just set everything a little more. I'm doing a little bit there, the cheek there. For blush, I'm using this shade from Chanel. The color looks pretty bright, but you just use a tiny bit to get the warm. For highlight, I'm using this palette from Tom Ford. I just use the darker shades here.
for lips, I'm going to use this lip liner from KKW Beauty. It's pretty dark. I like the idea of the dark liner all around. And then a lighter lipstick shade from Shiseido. Donna has incredible lip shape. I'm not going to change too much. I just follow her lip shape. Do the outer part of the lips pretty dark and I'm going to fade it in. And I apply the lipstick after. Like my lip. You see that I just leave the center a little lighter. I just do everything kind of dark around. And for the lipstick, I'm applying mostly in the center. And I fade it out. Bring your mouth slightly. So what you can do, you can ask the talent to do like this. If you keep doing that, it's going to out of it blend to the dark color for you. Stop. But that's how I would do a dark and light. I'm going to complete the look with setting spray from Rare Beauty. That is the look guy. I hope you enjoy the look. I have so much fun creating this look and I hope you like it as well. And give us a lot of love. Give us a thumb up, share the video, and don't forget to follow both Donna and I on Instagram as well. Thank you. Ooh.